Right, hello, it's uh, the next day now. I have burned my fresh copy of the PowerPC version of Tiger, and yes, I know it's PowerPC because it's 10.4, and that was the first version of Tiger released, and their Intel computers did not exist at that time. Um, well, obviously, the first public release, I'm sure they had it um, <coughs> somewhere in the back. So we'll just give it a try now. Um, let's power it up. Probably gonna have to eject the disc that's currently in there. It do take a while to actually um, have the graphical interface appear. There we go. Right. Um, just wait for it to recognize the second disc. need to have that ejected. So we've got the disk and drive now. Um, let's try and boot it up. Okay, I'm just I'm just holding down the uh, option key again. Um, now it's just spinning up, so I'll wait for that to. Um, Detect it. We're right, looks like we're almost ready. some sound up so you'll be able to hear it right, okay. Uh, nice boot. Now as I said the first uh, time will probably take some time to actually get going because it is booting over USB 1 but um, I did try this and it booted <laughs> on another power PC machine so um, let's give it a go. Right, okay, now that we've got the um, spinning gear, what I'll do is I'll come back to this when it's loaded, so I'll see you in a bit. Right, now that didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would, so um, let's go next. I'll just do a uh, quick auto adjust so we can see it better. Right, uh, so continue. Agree. Now I need to uh, format the disk in here, actually. Uh, right, disk utility. A newer version of OS X is installed, that's interesting. So it assumes the server versions are newer than the client versions, even though that is um, an older version. <laughs> um, so let's just have a look. Right, okay. Uh, so it's only a 37 gig disk, that's what I'm going to be upgrading next because I want to ideally use this as a uh, file server, so I'm just going to change it back to Dutch HD, erase, erase. Right, that was nice and quick, so I'll close that. There we go. Options, so it install, yep, continue, customize. Um, now, I can install X11, I think I'll install that. Don't need language translations. Got all of that. Maybe I do. I'll just leave it on. Um, additional fonts. Nah, I won't bother with that. Uh, printer drivers. And now, because I've only got. Don't need Xerox Rico, give me fonts mark. Electronics imaging for printer drivers. No. That'll be, that'll be enough for me, I think. Okay. Uh, install. Now this will probably take um, a good few tens of minutes or so, so I will um, again come back, I'll skip that. I'll again come back when, um, well, it's done. <laughs> um, before the, well, when it's just about to reboot anyway. Okay, right, I'll see you in a bit. Right, so it's just finished the um, install now, so I'm going to boot it up. I was just putting it through the speakers this time instead of um, speakers built in the machine so you can 
I'll hear the intro video when it comes. There you go. So, it's currently at 1024 by 768, so it still isn't just to the optimum resolution of the monitor yet. Just close that. So it's booting now. Right. So hopefully it shouldn't take too long more to boot. There we go. Right, so it's loading up now. It's quite slow, it's starting up for the first time, um, Tiger, because you've got this loading bar here, they removed that in Leopard. Right, or oh, maybe not. My uh, mouse, there's the uh, classic spinning wheel of death. <laughs> I don't think it's death, I think it actually means it's doing something now, so see what it does. There we go. set up. Just bring the volume down a bit. I'm right, let's, let's, um, using a British keyboard, yep. Uh, Ethernet. Uh, THCP, yeah that's fine. Notice how um, they changed it in uh, Leopard as well to have the whole full thing on the screen um, rather than just a window. So, got that. Configuring your computer. Right, okay, um, I'll just come back when this, is, this bit's done. Right, okay, uh, so you. In. Right, let's continue. Creating your account. Apple and I am in London. Yep. And that is the right time wall. Go. Right, okay, so now I've got an accurate time at least. Don't forget to register. Done. Let's go into the. There we go, so here's the desktop. Uh, set keyboard. I'll identify my keyboard. Here. Mm -hmm. On my build, my build-in keyboard. Okay, <laughs> this is clearly an external keyboard, <laughs> is it or not? Um, I'll close that. Right, okay. <coughs> now let's get the resolution the right size. Anyway, displays. No, why it's it's ten twenty four by seven sixty eight as the default. So now I'll just do a uh, quick. Auto adjust, and there is um, installation of Tiger, so everything works. Mm -hmm. I do have sound working, I think. Yeah, and do I have internet? Now I'm not connected to the internet. Just fix that. All right, okay. I should now be connected to the internet. There we go. So now I've probably got a ton of software updates to install. And if we go into about this Mac, you can see here. Just see how well this will focus, hopefully. I'll focus it myself. There we go. So you can see about this Mac, version 10.4, uh, dual 867 megahertz power PC G4 with 1 megabyte of L3 cache. 1.5 gigs of uh, DDR SD RAM, so I didn't max it out, I just added more. There we go. So, yeah, that's just about it. There we go. New software is available, yeah. So, 
turned up for 11 DVD player and Java. So I'll get those installed. And you said just about concludes the video, so thank you for watching and please subscribe.